the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a hell. Most of you bikers believe in a hell. And yet God gave his only begotten son that you may not go to hell. Hell is a place of torture, torment, pain, suffering, darkness. There's no parties in hell. It is dark. There's no mercy in hell. There is no grace in hell. And yet, Jesus Christ said He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me are the words of Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God's love is that He gave His only begotten Son. God's love is that He is not willing that any should perish, but that all should repent and get right. There is no other righteousness set forth, but that righteousness that's in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by Jesus. You're not going to make America strong without God, without the Bible, and without His Son, Jesus Christ. Thomas said to Jesus, my Lord, my God, you need to believe on Jesus Christ to be saved. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. And look around at what events are happening here. Daytona Beach proves that man is in his sin. And yet, if you were to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, the Bible says, thou shalt be saved. Salvation is no other but that in Jesus Christ. You are not safe without Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God upon him. There is no fluids in hell. There is no relief in hell. There is no food in hell. There is no entertaining in hell. But there is torture. There is torment. There is burning. There is no pardon in hell. And God in His long suffering, in His mercy, in His grace, He sent forth His Son that you might put your faith and belief in Jesus Christ to be saved. Imagine God one day telling you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. The one that suffered upon Calvary's cross. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now the Bible says we're all going to face death. The wages of sin is death. And where you go in your eternal life will be based upon what you do with Jesus Christ before you die. You reject Jesus Christ and God will reject you into hell forever. Hell is a place of torment. There is no joy. There is no partying in hell. The party's been canceled due to the fire. And you know alcohol burns and as your soul will burn for all eternity. And yet the long suffering of God is that He has given us the Lord Jesus Christ to put our faith in. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's glory to God. 
all gods of gods will fall before God and proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord. Do it now before you die. Repent and get right to God before Jesus Christ. You're not good enough. The Bible says there is none good, no, not one. All have come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, that means you. You're not going to settle with God on works. You're not going to settle with God with good intentions. You're only going to settle with God by the precious blood. That precious blood is God's blood, Acts 20, 28. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Believe that. Uh -huh. Believe that. Surely Believe goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. For I have put my faith upon Jesus Christ. You can put your faith today on Jesus Christ and be saved. You can have your name in the land's book of life forever by Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. It's the glory and honor to the Son. To the capital S Son. The Son that is God. And God that is Jesus. Thank you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And yes, bikers can believe on the same Jesus. Bikers can know that salvation is wrought through Jesus Christ. It's glory and honor. It is all for the name and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. The gospel is that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Yes, you, the sinner, you're born into your sins. That the born of a woman is a, is a fire spark up. Glory to God in the highest through Jesus Christ. There is no other salvation. There is no other way to be saved but that of Jesus Christ. One place for a trap. The words of life, the words of eternal life is Jesus Christ. And there's no other. You're not safe for religion. Religion is devil approved and man made, but Jesus Christ is God approved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other salvation, there is no other hope, but that which is in Jesus Christ. What would you say to the fact when God will tell you to go to hell? And the only way a man gets into hell is because he has rejected Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The glory of God is through Jesus Christ. Salvation is only wrought by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. God is long-suffering. God is loving. He's not willing that any should perish. And yet in His holiness, God said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And the fact is, we're not holy. For the Bible says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And when we come short of the glory of God and we die without Jesus Christ, you'll close your eyes to this world and you will open them to hell. And there is no second chance in hell. There you will burn for all eternity. Imagine one day, God in His holiness Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. In other words, when God tells you to go to hell because you rejected Jesus Christ, the Bible speaks about there is an afterlife. There is an afterlife. It's heaven by Jesus Christ. It's hell by anything else. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. 
For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish. Perish off into a lake of fire that burneth forever. There is a hell. And yet there is a heaven through Jesus Christ. There is hope for the hopeless. There is joy for the joyous. Joyless. And in the scriptures it is written that Jesus Christ is that only hope. He is the blessed hope. And you're to believe on Him before your deathbed. Once you go off into eternity, there is no reset. There is no coming back. Death is final. Death is sure. And without your belief on Jesus Christ, your surety of hell is 100%. It's not religion. It's not your mother. It's not your spouse. It's in Jesus Christ, the righteous. God sees a wicked man or he sees a saved man. A saved man is that that has put his name and his faith upon the name of the last book of life of Jesus Christ. It's a fact that the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. All is not well, there is a hell. And imagine the holy God telling you to go to hell when the Bible says, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you, but you can put your faith, you can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, that he will not cast you off into hell. God is long-suffering. God is able. God is willing that you're to put your faith and your trust in Jesus Christ. We've all sinned. The Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that the fact is, the wages of sin is death. You're going to die because you are a sinner. We're all going to die because we're sinners. And yet, the gift of God is Jesus Christ our Lord. And your faith and trust will end Jesus Christ is the only way you have access to heaven. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus says he is the only way, there is no other way. Amen. There is a place of torment by you rejecting Jesus before you die. Once you die, there is no return. There is no reset. And the Bible does speak about an afterlife, heaven through Jesus Christ, and hell by everything else but. It's not the fact is that God will cast you into hell by a sin. The sin that will cast you into hell is by rejecting Jesus Christ, the love of God, the gift of God, the water of life, the bread of life. It's so important that Jesus Christ left the heavenly throne, born of the manger, and yet suffered and died on Calvary's cross, according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Salvation can be wrought only through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins. Be right with God through Jesus Christ. God's not willing that any should perish and he's put forth. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be made as white as snow. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. There's no other sin remover. But that by the blood of Jesus Christ and the testimony upon His cross. That Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the Scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day, according to the Scriptures. 
That's the salvation. That's the way. That's the truth. And that's the life. Through God, through His Son, eternal life. Without the Son, the wrath of God abideth upon you forever. Because you will not believe on the Son of God. You will not put your faith in Jesus Christ. It's that simple. It's Jesus or it's hell. That's it. Death is coming. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It's a wonder. It's a grace. It's magnificent what God has done through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who is God. And God that's Jesus Christ. 